Lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world. You may, I may need to actually alter the volume a little bit. Let me go do that really quickly. Because I did, I brought it down a teensy bit, but I think I need to bring it down more. We'll see how that works. It's really, it's just so fucking loud in my headphones. Um, okay, cool. So, you can see, we're here, we're here with Skullgirls. It's Skullgirls. I was gonna just start out and just stream, but I was like, hey, you know what? Let me go through the tutorial mode really quickly. Let me just roll through that so I can at least hop into like, cause there's actually one thing that's really cool. Um, you know, that they did correctly in this one and more fighting games we're getting into. Uh, they feature tutorials that teach you about the game, but then they also have tutorials about each character. Now you can say I haven't really done very many of these. Um, one thing that really surprised me after I did all of this and it actually led, oops, no, this is still where I want to be. This has actually led me to, I, I guess it doesn't matter which one I pick, um, finally sitting down and really trying to kind of write out and conceptualize a Nate talks about like everything I think a fighting game needs baseline. Like this is how to, this is the baseline template on the road to creating the perfect fighting game, right? That's what I wanted to do. And so one thing that actually really surprised me that Skullgirls doesn't do, that it doesn't allow, number one, there is no like, actually, let me check this out. Let me just see. Okay, cool. So those do nothing. I don't think any of this, like none of the macros that you can do. I don't think any of that's throw, but these are like, this is tagging. I think those are both tagging. Those do nothing. Select and start, obviously start just brings me here. Okay, cool. So now that I have gone through all that shit, just to make sure that I am not missing something. Um, one thing that really surprised me is that number one, there's no way, look at this. Um, I don't think this captures my cursor, but just in case it does, look at the combo that I'm supposed to do. Notice how at the bottom, it just says silent scope. I don't know what the fuck silent scope is. So I got to come over here and I got to go to the command list and I got to look at the current character and I got to come over here and I assume it's probably one of her supers. I would guess. Yeah, silent scope is indeed one of her supers. So it's right there. So now I know what that is, right? But like, they're not being an option to change like okay just show me the motion like show me the name and the motion for it right that way because i'm trying to learn a character i don't know their entire move list i don't know what the fu i don't even know i just went through this in a recent video actually about how like the majority of fighting game characters that i play i don't actually know all of their move names these are characters that i play these are characters that i've been playing for years you expect me to be able to hop in here and just like be able to know this shit off the top of my head? Hell no, give me that option, man. And the second thing is that this game actually doesn't allow you uh, to be, let me just check help and options, okay, cool. There is no way to, um, there's no like example that you can look at. So like pretty much every single fighting game that I've ever played that has a trial mode features a replay you can watch of the combo being done so if there's something that's kind of messing with your head like man i just don't get this particular part what am i supposed to do here is there something kind of finicky am i missing something simple i don't really know you can look at that and the game does it for you so you can actually see a part that you may be doing wrong this doesn't have that either like that really blew my mind that this game didn't feature either uh, of those things so i am going to actually need I'm gonna need more time before I can stream this game, but so I want to actually do you can see I've already done I haven't done wait what I haven't done one of his trials. I thought I did all of them I'm actually pretty like completely fucking certain. Oh Never mind. I'm wrong. We're in the try. I'm dumb. I'm dumb for some reason I was thinking that we were in the tutorial mode not in like I, I was really confused initially because it was like I didn't remember there being like multiple sections for each character's tutorial so i'm just gonna do like this is actually really interesting initially when i was trying them out and they were kind of going through all his chair mechanics i was like yeah then they actually got into his grapple mechanics and his height mechanics and oh my goodness gracious i'm down with this character so i'm just gonna go through the tutorial with you i'll go through the trials really quick because apparently there's only four so why not just try them again so and in this corner we have the big bad wolf himself Beowulf! Beowulf brings a wide variety of interesting and unique tools of the ring to inflict pain on his enemies. He can toss his chair around the stage and place it st strategically. He can raise the excitement level of the crowd and use it to extend his throw attacks. But what's most unique about Beowulf 
is his pro wrestling inspired grappling mechanic. This tutorial will show you the ropes so you can step into the ring with all of Beowulf's tools at your disposal. So, uh, Hurdling Hurl is just, he throws his chair around. Simple shit. And you can go pick it up. But, as they're about to tell you... There is a time period in which the chair cannot be picked up. So you can see the chair is black right now. That means you can't pick it up. See, I can't pick it up right now. But eventually I'll get there. See, we got there. I'm really good at aiming these. One thing that's also really unique about this character, he doesn't have an air dash. That was the number one. Number two is that his ground dash actually counts as airborne. Think of it like Hakuman's, except he can actually do normals in the middle of his ground dash. I have to imagine that gives him some pretty dirty shit that he can do. I don't know if they actually count as overheads, though. There may be some kind of prevention in place that, like, his dash normals don't count as overheads. I don't know about that yet. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's just, let's just go and do uh, stuff. Actually, how big is that? Oh, I can't test it. Oh, but can you not? I guess you can't cancel that. So that, that makes up for this being a massive fucking normal is that it looks like it uh, throws you on the ground. I wonder if you can be comboed out of that. Probably. I don't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> that combo! <laughs> Alright, so this is, this is the meat and potatoes of this man. This, is, this isn't really showing it quite yet. We'll get there. So when you're in his grapple, you can actually choose different commands to do, and those will uh, cause you to do... So you can see, you can throw them around different directions so you can change your screen position. An awesome thing. Um, you can spam this. I can't remember what you're supposed to do. I'll just mash on LB. All right. There's just so many options you can do. This isn't really... It hasn't gotten into it yet. Like, I, I'll tell you when I get to the point where I was like, Oh, my lord. Okay, this, this still isn't it. We'll get there. That actually has some really good distance to it. Oops. Can you actually? Oh, it's not bad. I'm dumb. That isn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> I managed to do the tutorial correctly, but that wasn't what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do. Oh, it won't let me. Damn it! That sucks. All right, I gotta wait until I'm not in. Uh, until it lets me freestyle shit. Work. I wasn't holding the direction. It's a shame that height doesn't, like, affect the damage at all from these. automatically picks up a chair. Probably does a little bit more damage, too. Oh, 
Oh, we're back. I need to... Oh, I'm dumb. So that's actually a unique snapback. And he just says, extra outtake. That's what they call snapbacks in this game. If you don't know what either one of those things are, basically, you can have a team of characters. So you are uh, kicking the on-screen character out for the other one of the other characters on their team of your choosing. Oh, I'm pressing punch because I'm dumb. <laughs> there we go. It's very similar to, you know, like Valken Hines, uh, what's his name in Darkstalkers, I think it was probably the first character to have something like this. So you see, you can actually extend it twice. I don't know why they don't just let you go into the uh, third hit immediately. I think if you do the medium one, though, you can only do it once. check that out yeah it's definitely not letting me so what about okay so the lk one you can cancel twice mk and hk you can only do once that's interesting this you can actually combo into off of is it this nope not that he has a stagger but i can't remember what it is that's his launch. The fact you can't chain that when that's basically his special move kind of kind of tilts me a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Nailed it. Sea cleaner update on give a shit. What you gonna do? That, is that does no damage. Also, physically impossible. Just throwing that out there. You cannot chug a gallon of milk, your stomach will reject it in a very painful and uh, interesting fashion, to say the least. Explosive, let's say. the quarter circle four to do that. <laughs> so basically what this actually allows you to do is that you can use up uh, levels of hype. Oh, it doesn't let me do it twice. I don't know why it doesn't. Oops. Oh, well, midair. My bad, I'm dumb. get there. Where is it? God damn it, still not here yet? So that one actually looks like you can get a combo off of it. I think this one too gives you a wall bounce? Oh, maybe corner only? Take a seat during. Oh! Oh! Like, I legitimately don't remember doing this. <laughs>
I just I do actually remember doing that. I did that the first time too. <laughs> during this i guess i got it wrong i thought this was something you could do when you weren't when you just had like you used up a level of hype each time you used one of those moves let me check this out i want to actually go into training mode and try that i, I swore that you could do that no i should actually i should just go back wait no i want to i want to go back i want to go back uh attack data advanced hitboxes I don't know why you would give advance. Ooh, hit stun bar. That's neat. Uh, grid. What is? I don't even know what grid is. I want to see it. Input display. Okay, yeah, nice. It's neat. What, what's the other thing you can do? Oh, see, this is something that I've been wanting out of Guilty Gear, <coughs> and then subsequently Dragon Ball Fighters, is the ability to choose whether or not you want both or just one of them. And this game already does that. Fucking, of course it does. See this. I need fighting game developers to just come together and pool their resources and understand that like some of y'all do things really fucking great and some things y'all don't do so great. <laughs> if you put it all fucking together, holy shit, look at all these options. I'm gonna have to go through all those. If you put it all together, we're sitting goddamn pretty. And that's how all fighting games should be from here goddamn out. All right, let me see. What's, it, what's, the, what's the best Beowulf color? Obviously that one, like, come on, man. That's like Luchador. Oh, that is literally a Luchador color. I like that. Ooh, and I'm a Luchador color. I'm definitely down with like Playboy Beowulf here. Uh, I don't actually really give a shit. That was that was a nice voice that I just heard right there. Whoa! This is neat. Okay, so can I actually come in here? Oh, training options. So let me let me check it out. What's the difference? Actually, literally, what is the difference? Huh? I'm gonna need to look at documentation. What is the difference between like? Like, what's the purpose of the blue box? Oh, because see, actually, Philia's blue box is outside. Because that's the first thing I know is with Beowulf, is his blue box is entirely inside everything that he is. Meanwhile, Philia's is actually, part of hers is outside on her head and chesticles region. So yeah, so the red me, the red's an active hitbox. I would really like to know what exactly the blue box is for. That's interesting. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, that combo is neat. Okay, anyway, what am I doing? But look at the frame data down there underneath. Like, holy shit, look at that. It tells you 7 plus 2. 13 frame startup plus 4 because it was on hit. 21 frame startup plus 1 because it was on hit. If I set this cheek up, up to block, where, where we at? How, where do I go? No, that's not what I want. No. There we go. Now we can see negative two. Negative 12. God damn. This is plus five on block. Holy shit. Is that actually... That doesn't even look... That kind of looks like a frame trap in and of itself. All right, anyway. Oh, 
Okay, so you can. Okay, so it was just it was just uh, the actual tutorial itself that was not allowing me to do the combos that I wanted to do. So that uh, that is actually possible, but it looks like, as far as I can tell, this automatically gives you three levels. Yeah, this automatically gives you three levels of height. Interesting. That's one. Th oh, that's another thing worth testing. Now that I thought about that, uh, how do I make crouch? Yeah, she's blocking that high. That's dirty. Tell me. Right now, tell me this character isn't godlike. Right now, tell me this character isn't godlike. Please don't tell me this. I, I don't know. I don't know if I could actually handle another character that looks godlike on paper, that looks like he'd be a shit ton of fun. Answer, and then winds up being absolute trash. I would cry my poor little eyes out. So anyway, let me go. Let me go do those trials real quick. It's kind of disappointing. There's only four. That is a damn shame. I mean, it obviously, it leaves open plenty for experimentation, which is always good, but I very highly doubt. God damn it. Um, I need to remember which one's Wolf Press Slam. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't, I can't remember what the fuck Wolf Press Slam is. I think it's the back case, right? Oh, no, it's just forward plus punch. So which one? Okay, so you want to do this into that. All right, all right, all right, cool. Uh, let me just, oops. Get this reset real quick. That's another weird thing, too, is that this game actually doesn't have a default reset button. You just have to fuck up the combo, and then it automatically resets it for you. It's a little, it's a little strange. Oops. Awkward. Wow, you have all day and night to uh, hit confirm that into he standing heavy kick. Oh shit, I just went to next unfinished lesson. That's gonna take me all the way to four. This one's actually kind of difficult, so let me go back to two real quick. I mean, obviously it's a little difficult given that I haven't done it yet. Oops, that's his gigantic arm is his super. I'm done. God damn it. And I believe you can uh, OTG off of that, but it's a little unique. I mean, that's part of his trial four is that you OTG off of it, but they're in the air when you hit them. God damn it, I just did next unfinished lesson again. Oops, crouching. Shit, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Wait, so that, that must not be jump cancelable then. Alright. Oops, Airwolf. Airwolf's the other one. I think it's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Fucking. <laughs> Nailed it. Let me just. God damn it, now I can't even restart this shit. Give me my chair. Fucking, I'm terrible. That's why I need a default reset button. Nice dash, Nate. Thank you, guys. Actually, what am I doing? I can just do. That's actually a little difficult to time if you do it with buttons. Right, reset. Finally. It's kind of sad that it took me that long to do that. So now we can finally go on to the next unfinished lesson and it's actually the proper one. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. 
because it requires a rejump and I'm really I'm not I'm not good at the rejump I'm not good at a lot of parts of this combo. <laughs> Oops. See, this works. It did. I don't know why I just went into the second part of the combo. I wonder if I need to, like, delay the jumping heavy punch or something. That might be it. I'm dumb. That is 100% it. There we go. So then I need to do standing light punch. Oops, standing heavy kick. Into... Why is it not letting me do hurdling hurl? I guess like just because I'm in uh, It's waiting. I need the chair. Maybe it just won't let me get rid of the chair Shit That did not that's weird that it didn't combo but it actually allowed me to still continue the trial Fuck, I'm dumb. Why? Oh, fuck. I wonder if that still would have counted. God! Fucking finally, I'm terrible. I didn't even get to see how much damage that did because her health bar recovered so goddamn quickly. So does the next one finish less integrity to the next character? I assume, or are there some secret let? No, it takes me to the next character. Let's see what hers are. Whoa. Wait a minute, hang on. This is, isn't this very, nah. It looked like, it was kind of reminiscent of Metal Sonic's uh, dash in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Interesting. It actually looks like... Oh, you can hold it down, too. Okay, so I definitely I want to let that go, all go through. That's one of my biggest problems in terms of learning a new character, is always uh, actually letting multi-hit moves go through. I just want to keep pressing the buttons. Boost some comedian kick. That's kind of neat. Holy shit, this walk takes forever and it actually shakes the ground. How big is she? Oops. Yeah, why 
Why's that last hit? Why am I not getting that last hit whenever? Oops. Weird. Medium kick, jumping heavy kick, standing. Oh, what the fuck is Magnet? I don't know what the fuck Magnet Attract is. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh, look at that. She's got some. She probably has some nifty setups then. Oh, okay. So that is not a multi hit attack. I am dumb. That actually calmed me. Did she just say zoom when she dashed? I think she's saying zoom when she dashes. That's amazing. There we go, that's the kind of shit we want to see! And then it's... No, not punches, we want kicks, alright, but yeah, same... Same thing, we just want kicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's reset everything. Hello? Please reset everything? There we go. Wait, why did that not count? Oh, it's crouching heavy punch. Oh, it's an anti-air growl. Okay, so it doesn't leave. It kind of looked like that was something that might leave a trap on the screen. It does not do that. This is why you should probably do a character's tutorial first. It definitely does not leave a trap on the screen. It's just an anti-air grab. All right, so I'm going to give up. That's long enough. But you can see me. I'm, I'm enjoying. I really enjoy learning a new game. And then the real test <laughs> comes in when you're actually trying to play it. That's when shit might go sideways. But I have a feeling I'm going to like this game. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch to learn. Like, I need to actually figure out characters to use teams to use because the the thought process is basically like do i want to because i feel like i don't want to play this game without using a team right because you can actually something unique to this game is you can choose uh how like you actually saw when i went into training mode um you can choose how big you want your team to be so you can see one super powerful character two high power characters three normal power characters so obviously three characters would be the um uh traditional quote-unquote way to play it but i don't know like how viable one person teams are two person teams i mean obviously one person wouldn't be a team how uh viable solo characters are how viable two um squads of two are because i don't actually really know exactly what is affected by team size i think like the amount of damage you do is amplified a little bit actually i don't even know if that's the case i know you have more health i don't know about anything else like i don't, I don't know enough about this game um to really know whether or not these kinds of things are viable and plus the other thing about that is that like if i do select one single character then i can really truly buckle down and learn that one character i right? get really good with that one character and then i can get into two and so i can start developing that character alongside an assist while simultaneously learning the second character and then we get to three yada yada but yeah like i need to learn or i need to figure out exactly who i want to pick so like i think beowulf at this point is a given uh misfortune was the first character that when i first got this game she was the one that i was looking at like i think i want this to be my main character for sure like i want her to lead the, lead the squad uh start out but she's all, also seems like kind of one of the harder characters to use because she's kind of like a ghetto doll character she can actually detach her head from her body and use her head separately in a variety of manners so like it actually creates a really unique um 
both neutral and kind of like all, all sorts of rush down blocks down opportunities yada yada but i don't know how difficult that is to actually use in practice and then of course like look at her how could i not go for her look at the side boob look at the legs but then there's the issue that uh you know like let me just hop in here really quickly You know, it's all fun and games. Look at her. Look at the jiggle. Look at all that shit. Then you do this. Wait, then you do this. Then you do this. There we go. Then you do this shit. And you're left as a goddamn. You're like, you just, you're just a skeleton. You're nothing more than a skeleton. She can fucking take her skeleton out. It's scary. Um, oh, is that an overhead? Hey, that's an overhead. That's a very fast overhead. Although I don't think you can actually cancel it. I don't think you can do anything afterwards. You might be able to like super, maybe. I'm out of meter. That's the downside to this mode, is that you it does uh, require meter to utilize. But yeah, so those are the three characters that I'm kind of looking at right now. I just, I don't know. I got a lot more to learn. Obviously, as you saw, the only tutorial... I've gone through the main tutorials of the game, and I went through Beowulf's. I haven't gone through anybody else's. And the challenge is obviously same thing. So, yeah. But I'm having fun, and that, that's the important part. Hopefully, people are actually playing this game. That's another important part.